Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you convert virtual managed disk storage from a standard to premium virtual machine. So what does it mean by storage, disk storage? So by default Microsoft Azure provides two types of uh, disk storage for storing the virtual machine hard drive like operating system hard drive or a data drive uh, or any an application which you are going to host on Azure with the with the some data drive. So basically, uh, for example, if you want to have a basic uh, disk storage, which is uh, basically it's going to use the hard drive of the traditional machines like HHD, and the premium is going to use the um, SSD disk. So basically, the main difference between premium and standard is the uh, IOPS. Uh, like how many IOPS it's going to support uh, for the for the read and write so let's have some idea what I have so uh, so basically currently in my machine I having one virtual machine on my Azure you can see here uh, this is the machine if I go to resources you can see this is the machine on a virtual machine this is machine which I have running on Azure and it's having the disk type if I go to resources and the disk type this disk is attached to my this machine if I go here you can see the disk type is a uh, account type is a st standard HHD so it means it's going to allow me the I have 500 and throughput uh, 16 MB per seconds only. So, for example, if you're having some high-end machine which which require more IOPS or more throughput, you need to upgrade your machine to to the premium disk. So, this is we are going to do in this video, and we are going to so uh, see how it's going to work in a environment. So, I'm going to connect my virtual machine first, and just want to show you what is there in my virtual machine. So I just want to reconfirm one thing whenever you are going to convert the disk you are not going to lose any data in your virtual machine hard drive from when you are converting that uh, drive from standard uh, disk to premium disk one so you are not going to lose any data so let's see here the virtual machine itself so you can see I have a here you can see I have uh, C disk C drive of 130 gig and I have one temporary drive which is T drive and I have one D drive having one gig so you can see I have saved one file in my D drive uh, text file and I have one on uh, file here on my desktop if you want to make sure this is not going to impact anything I'm going to install a few rules uh, on this machine so make sure after after reverting the drive we are not going to lose anything too so let's install the role I'm going to install a print server it's very easy I'm going to just click next 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 and finish so I'm going to have the print server role on my this virtual machine and then we are going to convert this disk from a standard storage to premium and we'll see how it's going to um, like perform in live environment so I just want to show you that my this disk OS disk is uh, working on a standard and a standard HHD and I have E drive of 1 gig it's also working on a standard HHD and size of around 1 gig uh, um, 1 terabyte so it's uh, also having an IOPS for 500 and throughput for 6, uh, 60 MB so here we go you can see now I having the the sprint server role install on this machine so what I can do the first thing I'm going to shut down this machine and see what's going on so on a virtual machine why I need to shut down this machine if you go here on any disk you can see here so you can see here disk can be resized or account can be changed only when the when the disk is unattached or the VM is deallocated means we need to shut down this machine to deallocate the virtual machine from Azure console or also you can see the uh, when the standard account is account type it's not going to support because only VM is 
not premium storage compatible so means if if our virtual machine is not premium storage compatible we are not be able to change this from uh, standard to SSD so I'm going to do this demo right now so I'm going to sh delocate my machine first so I'm going to click on a stop so it's going to delocate my machine and then we see how we can change it okay so you, now you can see the machine is getting delocated and it's going to take some time because it's going to release everything here so let's wait for it so some time delocating the virtual machine is going to take one or two minutes to get the no, machine delocated from the Azure resource pool so we have to wait for it so now you can see the successfully delocated the virtual machine and we can verify from here also if I click on virtual machine again you can see the status here so stopped and deallocated and now we are good to go and see the disk setting if we can modify it so on the all the source this is the disk I'm going to click on it and if I go to change this you can see it's not going to allow me to change it because the the machine is not premium storage compatible so what I have to do I have to resize this machine to the mach machine size which is going to support the um, this uh, premium storage compatibility so I'm going to click on my virtual machine and go to site and here you can see I have to select the SSD because you can see also here uh, these machines are going to support the premium disk also you can go and select the SSD if you want to select here it's going to um, give you some extra uh, extra pricing but it's really fast so I'm going to use here HHD and I just want to verify which machine can support the premium disk so uh, you can see um, m most of the machine can support the premium disk so basically you can refer the article Microsoft having the article on this which may like the type which or uh, like DS4 and D D and these which machine can support the premium disk and which uh, stands can't support so I'm going to select this machine only to give you the demo so I'm going to select this machine and click on select so it's going to resize my virtual machine so here's the thing uh, it's resize the virtual machine uh, RAM CPU and the compatibility which we are going to have on news this new new size VM but it's not going to change anything with its hard drive itself so now you can see this uh, successfully resize the virtual machine to DS2 V3 so we are good to go now now if I go and click here and see the size this virtual machine on an overview page you can see it's having standard D2S V4 and uh, 2 CPU and 8 gig of memory so good to know now if I go to click on desk you can see it's highlighting now now we can move to SSD so I'm going to move it to premium SSD and when when I move to premium SSD you can see it's going to change my uh, IOPS so 1100 IOPS and throughput is this is going to change around 125 MB so I'm going to click on save and click cancel saves and if I go here on my E drive you can see it's still on HHD so I'm going to change it on SSD so you can see this the size has been changed to this so what I'm going to do I'm going to change this with um, uh, change this with 100 uh, 1 terabyte so if I fix it it's going to save the uh, settings and it's allowing us the new size so what I'm going to do now I'm going to click on Azure and I'm going to click on disk and add disk and I don't have any disk here so I'm going to create one disk and premium SSD if I go and put here you can say 520 you can see the IOPS is going to change if I put here 123 
is going to change the IOF so I'm going to use new disk here which having more IOFs around 23 so I just want to show you so I'm going to put here like what drive we have we have a E drive and uh, now I'm going to put this uh, you call it Azure Azure Zero One F Disk and just click on save so it's going to create the assign a new disk which is going to associate with the drive F and it's premium so what we have now we have all three disk and all three disk is like a premium disk on Azure for this virtual machine because we have changed the disk type and we have ch resized the virtual machine so we are good to go and now we have to log in and we, we have to verify that the machine going to have a um, uh, going to not uh, uh, going to not lose any data so I'm going to log in once this disk is at attached and we can verify the data there so just wait for a few minutes here it's going to apply the disk so it's good to go and now you can see we have a disk here I'm going to read and write and I'm going to hit the read and write for host caching and click on save you can select the host caching whatever you want so I'm going to just give it read and write for both the desk so successfully updated the virtual machine disk now we are good to go and if I refresh this you can see I have E drive, F drive so now I can go and power on my virtual machine to see the changes which we have does done so it's going to have a more memory more CPU and the premium disk so definitely performance is going to extend and now what happened like like for example if we are going to have a um, data on my disk and how it's going to do Microsoft how it's going to do the instant disk from uh, HSD to premium SSD so basically when when we save the settings from like SSD uh, HHD to SSD what uh, Microsoft is going to trigger one copy of the data uh, copy of the our VHDX file or VHD file from um, HHD, HHD storage to SSD storage which is going to uh, trigger in background and it's going to save the uh, data there so during this uh, copy uh, process we uh, uh, we may have uh, some issue like performance latency and these type of issues so now everything looks good I'm going to connect with my machine here and see what's going on so it's asking the username password I'm going to put my credential here to log into this virtual machine so as a zero one yes I wanna connect So here we go. So let's wait for a few seconds to get the server manager. So now you can see we have uh, this uh, txt file here on my desktop, and it means it's not going to change anything. Like uh, we we have our data here. And if I go here on my D drive, you can see the under the D drive which we having one terabyte D drive. It's also going to have our data. So next, if I go here and click on mm, click on disk management, you have to make sure one thing maybe maybe after resizing the virtual machine you will lose your drive sequence like before it was my E drive and now it's having the D drive so you have to make sure which drive letter you have to assign to which size of this so I'm going to change the required things here so just want to make sure like I have the correct data correct drive letter in my virtual machine for the respective drive so I have changed this to T I'm going to extend my uh, this drive which calling E drive I'm going to change this as a E drive and I have resized this also so I'm going to extend this now 
and I'm going to assign this as a F drive. So we have a E drive of 1 terabyte, we have a F drive for 512 gig gigabyte and we have also here you can see our print server is there which we have installed before the resizing the machine and changing the disk. So so we are get to know that the, we have successfully uh, migrated our storage, our disk from storage like a standard storage to premium storage and we have uh, migrated our disk also with the virtual machine sizing so everything looks good here so this is all about the converting the Azure managed disk storage from a standard to premium virtual machine so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query and question related to this you can post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye